Spurs failed to cash in, losing 3-2 at home to West Brom, while West Ham moved quietly into fifth place with a draw at Aston Villa. Meanwhile, Liverpool's revival continued at Stoke, but their winner came very late. There's something not quite right. Early November, Liverpool out the Milk Cup and not top of the table. But beware, as Stoke's manager said, they're still the team. And today, in driving rain, they set off at a breathless, furious pace to put that cup defeat out of mind. From a free kick, Jan Mulby showed debutante Joe Corrigan that he could be in for a busy afternoon. Then Ian Painter sent Sam McElroy away. We could hardly have known then that Stoke wouldn't trouble Grobelar seriously again in the first half. Through Alan Hudson, ever the strolling player and a fit again McElroy, Stoke promised much. It's nice to watch, but it doesn't win matches. But just when you're certain that Liverpool won't score, they pounce. Three minutes left, Ronnie Whelan away, and with the help of the inside of the post, he destroyed all Stoke's hard labour. Hands up all those who said that Liverpool weren't the side they used to be. Bob Hall, ITN Sport, at the Victoria Ground.